we talked about what a big problem type 2 diabetes has become. Talk about why. What's, what's been happening in our society over the last 20, 30 years that's led to this point? Yeah, well, I, I think that we all have some sense of changes that have happened. Mm -hmm. But um, in terms of specifics, um, experts debate. Um, some say that our physical activity levels have dropped. Others say, actually, if you look at physical activity, it has stayed pretty level for adults. Um, and so they sort of refute the physical activity component. But I think when we look at the diet, we can see lots of different changes that have happened. Um, you know, of course, we, we know that much of our food is uh, more manufactured than grown, heavily processed foods. Um, those processed foods tend to be higher in, in sugars and other sweeteners, whether it's actual sugar or sweeteners like high fructose corn syrup. Um, so our intake of sugar has increased. Our intake of more refined carbohydrates has certainly increased in the diet. Um, and then we see other factors. We see factors like uh, preservatives and additives that are added to meat products. Um, that, and, and we see ties between different uh, environmental um, toxins and uh, food processing ingredients and risk for, for diabetes as well. So I, I think most experts agree if you look at the, the changes in our food supply and in our meal patterns, not enough fresh fruits and vegetables, not enough high fiber foods, um, again, higher intake of these processed foods and, and more inflammatory animal products. Um, in the context of stable physical activity, so we're not increasing our physical activity to compensate for those increase in carbohydrate foods and the overall increase in energy that we consume in our meals, um, that's when we start seeing weight gain and progressive insulin resistance and thus the increase in diabetes.